What's going on, guys? My name is Zach Day. We're here at Warm Club, part of the best way to bowls and golf. You might be asking. It's tips for Thursday, but you might be asking, why am I inside? Well, it's gross outside. But lucky for you, I've recorded nine holes that I played last week, and I'm going to give you my tips and help on golf course management, managing your way through the golf course. So, let's cut to the clip. Let's go look at it. show you exactly shot by shot how I get through the hole. My theory when it comes to playing a golf hole is I'm going to try to play the hole backwards. So let's get to it. So we're on the tee and you ask what's playing a hole backwards? Theoretically thinking you're wanting to get yourself from the tee box put yourself in the best position to have your best club in your hand whether that be a gap wedge sand wedge, pitching wedge, lob wedge, whatever your best scoring club is, because that tends to be your favorite, and you're able to hit a closer shot. So, I've shot the distance with my range finder, and it's 315 for the fly. So, in my mind, I'm gonna try to hit something that's gonna get me to about 100 yards, because I love 100 yards. So, um, I've got my three iron, which is gonna put me about there, into this breeze, because we have a slight breeze into the face, I hit a three iron usually about 240 um, in the air, but there's a solid breeze and I would rather clear that water than be short of it. And the bunkers will not come into the play because of the wind. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're here now. We're in the fairway. I leaked it a little bit to the right. However, since this is the 100 yard marker, I'm only 110 out. Uh, so I got pretty close to my number, 10 yards back which means I might have to hit a higher club. However, we're in our scoring region. So that's the focus. Now, obviously we're trying to get ourselves the best opportunity to make birdies. So in my head, with this wind in my face, I'm not gonna hit my no normal 110 shot because if I do, it's gonna come up short, and likely in the water. So in my head, I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe. Go ahead and hit a little bit more club or with a little bit more, hit that same club with a little bit more speed make sure that I get it on the putting surface where I have the best opportunity for bird. So, let's hit the shot. Here we are. A little short, a little left. However, this is great because now I can give you a better idea of how to lag a longer, tougher putt because this is a very treacherous putt. So, when I'm looking at this, I want to break this down into a couple segments. I'm looking at the first half, the middle portion, and then the last half of it, which is the most important part. So in my head, I'm trying to think about what line I want that ball falling on, on the last portion of the putt. So, this is it. Time to go get a drink. Well, I'm already here at bar 45, so I guess I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna go grab a drink. See you in there. <laughs> 